trauma. A word we hear everywhere, but what does it mean and why is it important for the work that we do? The American Psychology Association defines trauma as, a, as when an individual witnesses or experiences an event that they believe to be threatening to their life or their physical integrity and safety, while simultaneously experiencing fear, terror, and helplessness. This was further expanded to include secondhand experiences. So if a loved one has experienced trauma or someone is being exposed to the details of an event while experiencing terror, fear, and helplessness. Bessel von der Kolk, who wrote The Body Keeps the Score, summarizes this perfectly. He says that trauma is an overwhelming event of terror, violence, or threat. Trauma has multiple impacts on individuals and communities. One of the most known ones is PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. This requires a clinical diagnosis and can often ignore the wider social, political, and cultural impacts of trauma. One of the characteristics of trauma is that it happened in the past, but we continue to experience it as if it is happening in the present. And so we can become distrustful, suspicious, and reactive. This does not mean that someone has PTSD or is traumatized. These are normal responses to an overwhelming event. So when we provide our services, these are things that we need to take into consideration. Helping someone feel safe, empowered and dignified are simple ways that we can include a trauma-informed approach in the work that we do. But there are six guiding principles that we can use. Safety, making sure people feel safe physically, culturally, and emotionally. Being trustworthy and transparent in how we interact with people. Being authentic and honest. Peer support, linking those who have similar experiences with each other helping people not feel alone in their experiences. Collaboration. We want to be working alongside people, not having a top-down approach. We want to be empowering people's voices and giving them the space to make their own choices. So making them active participants in their own recovery and strengthening their resources. And finally, taking into consideration the cultural, historical, and gender issues which can continue in the aftermath of these types of events. By adopting these six principles, we can shift our work culture in such a way that all people can feel safe, empowered, and dignified.